you guys, okay, back at the cabin site. See here we got the last load of lumber I need in here for the floor. The 14 footers. So I've just been peeling logs all day. I think I got nine more logs peeled today. So that should be a, a good start. So here's a, this is where the door is going to be. Right here. That log is the wall. I'm going to start here, go over to there, around. This is the porch. Just bringing in pressure treated wood for the porch because it's going to be open to the elements. And there'll be firewood stacked on there too. So I'm just going to head out. It's I think 6 30 now. Uh, hour to get to the truck and get home at 8 o'clock, I guess. We should be uh, good to go. Then I'll come back in tomorrow, bring a load of uh, pressure treated stuff. I just cut into five foot lengths so I don't have to carry long pieces. And I can peel a few more logs and maybe get a, a little bit of construction started. And fun time. Alrighty. I cut, uh, I cut a trail to down to where my bike is and then all the way along um, that creek bank up into the hill over there and then around back onto my main trail because that main trail is getting pretty wet in the two low spots and the, this trail takes it all the way along high ground so I don't have to worry about caking the logs in mud when I drive through them. Alright. So we will get at her. Catch you guys later. Hey guys, um, warmed up somewhat. I think it's uh, probably four o'clock right now and it's warmed up enough. I just finished cutting the tree and peeling it off. It peeled pretty good. But one of the guys, somebody commented, I can't remember when or who, but about uh, they never use certain logs for for building cabins, but you know, I guess the only thing you can say is that you you use what you got. Um, and around here, you see, I've got 90% jack pine right here. Maybe I don't know. I'm gonna go 70% jack pine, maybe 20% black spruce. 10% white spruce. Like here's a jack pine. And, and each of these trees have their own good things and bad things about them. Jack pine, you can see, are nice because they got no branches till you get way the heck up there. Um, they're generally, you can get them kind of straight, but they'll always have little, little crooks in them like you see that there. You know, which can all be straightened out with a chainsaw. Um, black spruce. Okay, you see that tree there that's leaning with a, just a bunch of tree branches at the top? No, that's a black spruce. Now, the nice thing about them is they are gonna, they're very long and skinny usually. I mean, you can get bigger ones like that broken off one right there. That's a, a dead black spruce, but you see there's a, a bigger one right there. But you get poles like that and make great roof rafters because they are so long and they don't have a, like they're not going to be six inches on one end and three on the other when you need a 20 foot piece. You know, they might, in that distance might vary an inch. So they make great roof rafters. Um, like this black spruce here, he'll come down and uh, I'll use it, that one. And some of these jack pines here. You get into the low land, low spots down there, and there's lots of black spruce down there. I just want to show you, like, I mean, if I could find, get into a stand of white spruce, like, um, well, the one I just cut here, like, you look at this tree. If I could get. 40 logs like that. 
and that peeled in about 15 minutes and it is straight as narrow and just a beautiful log. Now if I could get a in 20 trees, 30 trees would be good. And you see all, all jack pine in here with you know, some small white spruce. Here's another one I cut last time I was here. This one had a few more branches because it was in a more sheltered area. You see a nice little crook at the end, but that'll be cut up into smaller pieces. You know, there's that's a white spruce there, but it's not big enough to use. I could probably make a ridge pole at them if I wanted. There's a nice big spruce in the back there, but he's leaning too much, he's going to fall in the river. Over that way, where I'll be end up, once I cleared out everything that's close by, I'll start dragging them from over that way. I'll clear out this trail here and go down through this ridge along there, because over that way I'm getting much water from driving back and forth through there. Too much mud. But it's nice uh, I can cut a nice pole like that this far from the cabin. Always works well. Anyways, I'm going to go see if I can't fit another log up in there and then uh, Let me just head out. I gotta run four bear baits tonight. We got hunters coming in tomorrow, so I'll make sure the baits are filled up and, and go from there. Alrighty. And have a good one. Okay, we took a, a photo of the time just so you can see the difference what it's going to be between doing a jack pine like this and then one of the white spruce like I like to use but these are a couple logs that are close to the camp so won't have far to carry but we'll uh we'll get the camera back on again when I'm done the first log and uh, see how long it took me Alrighty. Just about done the first 16 foot log. It's the last piece of bark coming off right here. And Flo's got her bone out. So you got the 16 foot log done with the jack pine. There's, what's the time? 10 after. 10 after, so half an hour basically to do this 16 foot log. Alrighty, and then we'll do it back on again when I do a spruce tree. Just wanted to show you guys too. There's my wife. Laying down on the bank of the river, just staring up at the sky. You know, being out in the bush all the time, I think sometimes you fail to completely appreciate how nice it is back here and how relaxing and, and beautiful it is. But uh, when you see somebody come out that doesn't spend a lot of time out in the wilderness and you see how much they enjoy it, just makes you realize how lucky you are to be out here all the time. Anywho, I'm gonna go cut another tree down. Hey guys, so here we are. We got uh, these four logs peeled, four jack pine logs. Um, I'm gonna do a spruce right now. I just wanted to say quick, I don't got much battery life left right now and my wife's over by the rapids taking photographs and, and stuff like that. Um, I just want to say, like, the, I mean, she asked me quite often if she can come out in the bush, and I, you know, generally there's something going on that she can't come with me, but of course today 
she has time and everything, so she comes on out. We get out here, and I should have known better than to take one bike. But sure enough, we get two uh, or half a mile from the camp, and the bike starts messing up. Sounds like it's only firing on one cylinder, so... Um, you know, that's why I don't generally take her with me or like even my granddaughter, she wants to come in, you know, I mean, 10, ten and a half miles by quad is a little bit much for a four-year-old, but she, uh, so now if this bike screws up, you know, it's okay for me to walk 10 miles out of here, but she ain't uh, used to that kind of stuff, and this is going to be a chore if, uh, if the bike does end up quitting on us completely, but We'll get back as far as we can. I mean, I can't leave it here. It's uh, it's not like I can go get another bike and haul it out of here through all the mud holes and everything. That would be uh, not quite possible. But anyways, we'll see what happens. All right. Catch you later. Bye. Okay, we're going to time peeling this log. Now, this log's a little shorter than that jack pine that we peeled by a couple feet but it's much bigger around, so it should be about the same amount of peeling. Now it is 2.36, and we'll uh, see what time it is when we're done. Alrighty. Okay, so here we are. We got that spruce log peeled, and it is now 14.43, or 2.43. And already I can't remember what the time was when I started, but I think it was around 2.30 or something, but anyways, see that's how much easier when the sap's running, the logs peel for with a spruce, you know, when you can rip them off in chunks that big, you see, uh, I mean, all great big chunks, obviously goes by a lot quicker. Alrighty, catch you later. We're going to be heading out pretty soon as soon as I finish peeling these other two logs just in case we end up having to walk all the way. Can't uh, wait too long to see. Okay, bye-bye. Keep your boots dry, boys.